Hello YouTube. So I'm drilling out more of these ribs and on some of them uh, due to, I, I know I'm kind of uh, limited on being able to get to the uh, manufactured side of the rivet head in order to use, oh, where did it go? Uh, in order to use this um, universal head rivet removal tool. Uh, this is very nice, but, uh, and I did, I can flex some of the ribs out of the way because I'm probably going to end up binning them anyway due to the additional mess I had to make of them trying to clean out the cracks um, and get replacements. Um, but, so I can't use this on some of them. Um, these two I probably can, but these 10 rivets over here, I can't. Uh, there's just no way I can really flex this whole assembly without, I wanna save some of the parts, right? So what, I've, what I'm doing is I'm drilling from the shop side. Now this is pretty, you gotta be very, very careful when you drill from the shop side. And, um, because you don't know where the center of the rivet is. You don't know where the shank is. Um, let me see if I can see this. Touch the screen so I can see what we're recording here. Um, you can kind of see it. There's no light here. Uh, it's hard to see still. On, on the shop side of these, you can kind of see a ring in the center. And so you can... That, that's that's pretty easy, but these are squeezed rivets. Um, since these rivets on the spar were bucked, it's even more difficult. But basically, what we do is we take a really close look at where about the center of these rivets is. You can kind of see if it's misshapen when it was bucked, because almost every bucked rivet is misshapen, just a tiny bit. Kind of make a good estimation. And so these are eighth inch uh, rivets. And I'm gonna center punch them right about where I'm fairly certain the center is on the shop side. And this is very similar. So this one's actually squeezed all sorts of weird angles. So I have a I think it's actually going to be down quite a bit from where the center might appear to be. That one might be a dangerous one to remove, but you have to be very careful. All right, and then we're going to take, in this case, so these are eighth inch rivets, which you'd usually drill with a, uh, a number 30 drill bit. When you're drilling them out, you use smaller ones. And I'm starting with a number 41. So this would normally be the drill bit I would use to remove a um, number, I'm sorry, a 330 seconds rivet. Um, but I'm starting with this on these just because I'm working on the on the shop side because it got to be very careful. And just like, just like drilling out the manufactured side, you, you really want to stop short of your um, of the material the rivet is in. So there's a bit of estimation that happens here.
so that one wasn't even buffed very well. That's all right. It's about the right depth. And one last one. All right, now I'm going to come back with, and, and sometimes if you're drilling below size on a 1 8th, you would use like a number 32, 31. I'm actually going to come back right with the number 30 on these because it's worked really well on the other ones. And I'm going to gently drill them out until I hear a little click, which which is going to indicate that I've like cracked the shank. Didn't hear it on that one, but I definitely got the depth just by looking at it. So that's really weird. I heard it on all the other ones. Not hearing it on these. It's all right. There's a snap there. You sort of felt a little torque. Felt it there. Felt it there. All right. And then. Just like with the others, we're going to gently pull that shop head off, just like we would with a manufactured head. And we can see that we didn't even nick the spar there. That looks really good too. That one looks great. That one looks great. Hmm, well, this one's probably not gonna be as good. Yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna come back with my smaller drill real quick here. Make sure we loosen up a little bit more. And this is the number 41 in an eighth inch hole. So I have very, very, very low chance of doing any damage to the hole. What I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that the shanks of each rivet are nice and um, they're no longer strong. strong. So now I should be able to just sort of give this rib a little tug. And all of them are out. So I did a little bit of a mess on this one here. But uh, all of them are really, really good still. Definitely able to put another uh, rivet in there and set it without a problem. Take it easy.